Hello, hello Quiz. quiz Welcome again. back after a hiatus. I think that's the right word. That hiatus. Is the right word. That is the yeah. right word. Let's see, it's all this extra intelligence I've got now. That's um, so we are back. We apologise for our absence. We have been busy and then it was half term. And Anyway, we're back and we're going to stick to Mondays and we'll do it now on a Monday. So Monday night, Monday madness. Monday madness. Fantastic. Uh, you've probably been sat there waiting desperately to know who uh, or how you got on last week. So let's start. Let's go through 20th. it. And we did a top 20. Um, I nearly actually went further than this and did uh, further back because I thought Mr. Amos um, had done worse than that, but actually it was someone who was pretending to be Mr. Amos. Oh, um, that's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> I know, oh, it was brilliant. So anyway, um, we were, no, boys in 20th. So excited. Next. <laughs> dot, dot, dash, dot, dot, dot. Morse Whatever code. Whatever that is, yeah. Morse code. 18, Lily. Uh, so Lily. Brilliant. Well done, Lily. Lily. Well done, Lily. Blades. Don't know whether that's speed up, speed, a reference speed, to a variety speed. of, you know, blades or whether that's, the Jacksons. Uh, you know, Sheffield. The Jacksons. The Cheese yeah. Balls. The Cheese Balls. That's Miss Keenan's team. That the is Cheese Miss Keenan's team. I think, the, I think that's the Keenan household. The Lua Learners, oh, no, Team up. 27 and Cheese Balls. What are, what? Well, they've done very well because Cheese Balls are in there twice. So. They've, they've done really well. They've come in the quiz twice. But well done them, basically. Well done, um, Cheese Balls. Team Maitland. Um, well done, Team Maitland. Team Maitland's smashed it. 12th. Armstrong's. Armstrong's. Well and now for the top 10. Oh, no, 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 Smart, Smart Orange. Orange. They, they're back for the second week on the trot as well. So are the Blasket Boys. Uh, ninth, Pat Lovers. Yeah, strong name. Team Lockdown. Team Lockdown. It's quite, it's a great name. It's not massively original, but I like it as a name. Yeah. I'll move, I'll move our faces again. There we go. The, the Barkley Barkley Boys. Boys. Yeah, or Berkeley Twin Boys. Twin never. Moustache, Lucas and Hill. That's a Eurovision yeah. entry, isn't it? That, yeah, they, they named their team after the last song from France to lose oh. the Eurovision Song Contest. And it is an absolute tune. I think it's a great song. To to it. I think it's a brilliant it's a tune. song. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That was a really good year, actually, for Eurovision. It was. It was the year the Lordy one, wasn't it? No, oh. it was way later than that. Fourth, Ballet Team Hackett yeah. and Team Saracens. Like, yeah. Just top quality all round. Um, uh, very the Scumbag attend. College, another good outing from Scumbag College. Well done. Scumbag College well, are doing incredibly well. Um, second, the Butlers. Well done, Butlers, the Butlers. Last week's winner, which means we have a new winner. And they are... Something about grandma, grandma, which we weren't allowed to do the proper team name that you put, so we put yes. something about grandma instead. Uh, which, it to is be honest, a family community quiz. Can you please remember that with your entrance? Next slide, sir. Next slide. Let's just move on. Uh, yeah, so the fundraiser, we're doing quite well on the fundraiser now. Um, we're, we're, uh, I think we're nearly a halfway, so we're doing really, really well. Let's keep that going. Remember that. Uh, Michael Stable Hospice have lost 80% of their income from uh, fundraisers due to the um, coronavirus pandemic. So let's, yeah. you know, let's keep going. Let's try and share it with as many people as possible. If not, get some of your own ideas going. Share them with your tutors. Get on the tutor zone. Tell us what you're doing. Remember the PE's 2.6 challenge as well. So let's just try and share that and get that going as much as possible. And thank you so much for your support so far. Well done, everyone. Um, <laughs> Oh, this also, the live, the live stream of Salt is still available on my YouTube channel. So if you do want to watch that, you still can. Um, Amazing. Still that was such a good performance. Uh, so we're on um, round one. Oh, so uh, this round is musical instruments. Now, again, as with the last time I made the quiz, every single round is based on something that you have requested. So the first round is musical instruments. This is question one. What is that musical instrument? What is that? What is that? I reckon we. I reckon we can move forwards. I reckon we keep move this forwards. pace going. What is that? This one here. We had an argument, Mr. Randall and I, because this is not the one that I originally wanted to use. No, that's because it wasn't the instrument that you wanted it to be. No, but it was. But whatever. Let's it go. Wasn't. Uh, next one. Number three. <laughs> Very nearly said what it's, it was. I know it's really difficult not to, isn't it? Actually, it's really difficult not to. I've got one. Um, I picked one, one up on my travels. I didn't get one of those. I'd love I've to had play a go, one I have, I, I have had a go at playing one of those. I was in a play once where uh, someone was playing one, and I've had a good go at it. And it is really hard, but it's it's incredibly satisfying. So, like, it's sort of once you worked out how to do like two chords on it, you sound great. 
Um, so uh, we're, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back. Yeah. Because speaking of musical instruments that you have had a go at playing, you've got a new present. Oh, so I do. Show everyone your new present. I, I do. Well, I say, you say present. I mean, I bought it for myself. So, yeah, that's a present. Um, I was buying some things for my daughter and uh, to entertain her in this time where we're not allowed to take her anywhere. And then Amazon said, would you like this for five pounds? And I went, yeah, I would like this for five pounds. It's a plastic bugle. Play it. But I haven't quite mastered it. I'll have a go at playing it. I haven't quite Play it. it. Most of it just sounds like farts, to be honest with you. <laughs> That's it. it doesn't make a sound. No, I'll get there. I'll get there. The first thing I'll be Go on, we'll, we'll be back next week for more of your bugling. <laughs> no, it's like number five. Violin. It's like playing the violin. The first thing you have to do is master making the sound, and then after you work on how to make the sound, then you can move on to you know sort of like actual tunes and notes. But first, that's the first hurdle. I might practice while we're doing this actually. All right, number so, six. That's the, that's the end of the round. It's the end of the round. So next round is famous landmarks, but from an aerial view, from a bird's eye view. Well, so probably a helicopter. This it's is number bit, one. It's a little bit like your flat, Mr. Ellsby, actually. An aerial <laughs> view of your flat. There's the little car it's park. The building the right constantly on the right hand side. There. Yeah. Tell you what, that is a nice pun. You can social distance in there. Uh, number two. Less this is part, really fewer cool. parts. Yeah, this is actually a really, this is a satisfying picture to look at, isn't it? Yeah. There's something really nice about that. They really like, thought they? about that when they started designing it, didn't they? They did. It's almost like someone, I don't know, planned it, isn't it? Crazy. Uh, you can't imagine someone, you know, planning that. You have to know how the place is going to grow. Anyway, oh, next, on. number three. It's jumped, it's jumped around. Hang on, it's jumped around. There we go. This one's very hard, you know, Mr. Felsby. It is very hard. But if you know, you and know. Also, this also, I'm not sure. I think I think you could expand the definition of landmark for this one. No, yeah, this one's place. this one's not really a landmark, it's a place. It's a place. It's a Less place of a landmark than a landmark. place. Yeah. Um, next one. Now I made this and I forgot what it is. This look, I know what this this looks so cool. If you've it been does, there, you absolutely wouldn't. Honestly, like I've only ever been once, and I wish I wish I'd been more. It's so cool, really is cool. I don't know if I've been. I like the golf balls though. Yeah, they're good on it. But yeah. it's really cool. Um, next, next. There's the mugger, and there's the new six form building just there on the left hand side. Yeah. And there's again, Mr. I have entirely office. forgotten what this one is, <laughs> really? which is awful, isn't it? Yeah. There's a there's a massive clue in it. I'm guessing it's the landmark. Yes, but there's a clue in the landmark in the sort of architecture of it as to what it is. I might know. Well, you made the quiz, so frankly, Mr. Osby, you ought to know. So, no, I don't know. No, um, I don't know. So, next round. Brilliant. So, Mr. Randall, Mr. Ellsby, and one special guest have had their uh, had their faces superimposed on celebrities. So, you need to work out who the celebrity is. Uh, I've used my very best photoshopping skills here. It's actually not bad. Which, which no, they are substandard. They are considerably substandard. Um, but there we go. Um, anyway, here's the first one. Who is this TV chef? <laughs> Such a swine. There's something, about, <laughs> there's something about your face that just inspires panic. I see it and I just think, oh God, what's gone that's wrong? That's not panic, that's calm in the kitchen. No, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that your face is the look of panic. I'm saying that your face makes me panic. <laughs> I panic when I see your Go face. Go to the next picture. Uh, here's the next one. So who is this? I'll move our faces. We're in the way. Who is this famous politician? <laughs> Before my daughter decided to break my sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Well, you know they are quite about? large sunglasses. I, I asked for them back, so she just broke them. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> if I can't have them, you can't have them. She just went like that, which was great. I said, can I have those back, please? Brilliant. Um, Did you give them back to you in bits? No, she threw them on the floor, which is obviously a perfectly reasonable thing to do. So this pop culture duo, uh, you get half a point per name for this duo. Ah, you get a point per person. 
then it's not the points that we said the quiz is out of. I'm going to mark it. So, I, honestly, I think if you get one, you have to. There's no way you won't get the other. There's, I mean, there's absolutely no way you only get one of this duo. <laughs> no saw the pictures again. Also, Let's. I feel like the trousers on the right hand side are made out of carpet. Not a carpet I would want, but they look the like carpet, don't they? No, but they look like well, carpet. rope. And yeah. The trousers on the left look like curtains. But I like the trousers on the left. They're kind of I, like. And I, I like the shirt on the right. I feel like I probably would wear a more modern. It's very of that. Austin Powers, isn't it? I can but imagine that being used in Austin Powers scene. It also looks like it also looks like a kind of rug. It looks like a rug that you would get at a nan's house. That's what that looks yes. like. To me. Do you know what I mean? Next, 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 next. Uh, pace, next one. What's the name of this band? <laughs> See, now that's an appropriate use of that face. Well, I think every, any use of that face is appropriate. So there you go. Also, the picture of, uh, of me there was taken on the Isle of Wight trip. There you go. I was going to say you look very sunburned. There's the thing, I was very sunburned, but also I've tried to match the, the and, and the celebrity guest. Uh, Mr. McManaman has put in a, a celebrity guest appearance. Um, and so there, there they are. Um, if you've I been think taught, you have if you've, done a phenomenal job with Photoshop. I'm the really impressed. I, the only thing that disappoints me, I couldn't quite get rid of the original person's eyebrows. They're just too powerful. Oh, I just figured that was part of McManaman's head. Yeah, I mean, he has got a very, very weird head. I'll give you that. Uh, but he'd be the first to admit <laughs> I genuinely that. thought that was real. Should we get to the next round? Let's get to the next round. Uh, the next round is more nerdy stuff. And I like that you've done uh, some fun with it. I remember this. Someone asked for more nerdy stuff. Yeah. So I was thinking, well, what does that mean? And I thought, nerds. Nerds are a sweet. So let's make it about sweets. So you so, have four questions in this round, starting from the next slide. They're there. There's, there is a number five written, but I couldn't think of one. So, so sorry. <laughs> So, uh, what does Eminem advanced, stand good. for? Not the singer, not Marshall Mathers, um, but what does the letters M and M stand for? What was Snickers previously known as in the UK? Um, it's always been Snickers abroad. Um, and then, why did it used to be called? You've put two questions in that. There are five questions. There we go. Oh, you repeated it. No, there are four. You repeated it. Yeah. Mr. LZ, you can't be trusted. Wait, listen, listen, listen. Why number three is written incorrectly. Number three should say, why did they change it? (laughs) Why did they change it? No. No. why, Why was it not called Snickers in the UK? I can't hear you now. You've gone silent. Speak into your microphone. That's not working. Maybe I maybe I blew it up with this. There you go. Yeah. Put put your bugle down. Right. And question four. Milk chocolate was invented in which country? Done. Okay. Famous athletes. Right. I'm quite proud of this round. Okay. So someone asked for more athletics based questions so here we go some famous athletes uh, i don't know whether they meant footballers but we've taken it very literally we've gone for famous athletes so one and two they might be footballers i can confirm that they are not footballers they might be good at football but they're not professional footballers uh, three and four uh, i still Osborne. maintain <laughs> that number three is just mr randall you know what though actually i I can see it. it. (laughs) Wait, can you try and pull that face and then give me a thumbs up? (laughs) (laughs) He doesn't have a plastic bugle from Amazon though, does he? He does not, but he does have cool gloves. He does have very cool gloves. Yeah. Right, last one. Last one, here we go. Who's that? I didn't use they them. were very famous, but you don't hear anything about them anymore. No, yeah, well, I think they probably just stopped, haven't they? You know? Yeah. But there you go. Not always been famous for the athletic thing in which they take part. They once got famous for something that they did during... I think we'll move forwards. Remember when we talked about how it's a community quiz? 
No, it was not. It's not inappropriate. <laughs> Um, so, someone wanted Avengers-based questions, so here we are. One, two, three, four, five. Which Avenger is it? We've zoomed in on a small section of different Avengers. You tell us which Avenger it is. Oh, I thought you could make them bigger than that. They're tiny. No, uh, they are. They're, 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 it's got to be difficult. It's got to be difficult, Mr. Well, so people who like Avengers, I don't know any Avengers, because I get confused. Is Marv... There's Marvel, but then there's DC. So one of them's got the Hulk in it, and one of them's got Batman. Batman is uh, is DC. And the Hulk? The Hulk is Marvel. And they don't live together. Apparently, they live in different universes. They do. Yeah. So I thought I was very stupid for not knowing that. And I was like, well, they're not real. Oh, no, I don't think you're stupid. You're stupid for not knowing that at all. I just think you're massively out of touch with the current pop culture zeitgeist. I wouldn't. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't do any of the current pop culture. I, it's brilliant for the cinema. I never go to cinema. Avengers Assemble. Ooh. Anyway, I, I, I have to say they they are great in the cinema. Right, you've had enough time. Yeah. Name the flag. Ah, they and wanted flags. Someone wants a flag. So, somewhere. flag number one. But also, name the flag, let's be clear, because I got in trouble on a family quiz the other night where it said, name the animal, and I just called them things like Bob and Susie, and they said that didn't count. And I said, Someone no one did says. that in the last round, that we, the last yeah, quiz we hosted. Yeah, no, called Bob. Uh, name the flag. I like that there's a goat with, go back, there's a goat with a red tuft of hair. That's its horns. And red feet. Anyway. I like the weird little weasel. Yes, I was also liking the weird weasel with the with the white weird. belly. Yeah, a bit weird. Uh, yep, yeah, next one. There you go. Strong. Just three colours, but Very appropriately strong. contrasting. Just three colours. Should there be more yeah. colours? Well, some countries only have two colours, don't they? Well, England's only got two colours. Yeah. And Scotland. This is a great one. I like this one a lot. I think this is a great flag. This is a superb flag. Because I like to think of it as it's all built on the yellow, and then they put yes, a bit of green and red over the top, although and I was then just cut thinking, out the star. Yeah, I like that. Although I was just thinking, it would be. I'd also quite like it if it went yellow, red, yellow, and a green star. I think that would be quite cool as well. No, you lost me. Next. Oh, what a, oh, what a smashing flag that is. What a top flag. That is the finest quality flag. That is flagalicious. Right. <laughs> Look at that one. <clears throat> Sensation. And it's a good temple. It is. Although, I don't know how I feel about Are they step ladders next know. to the stairs? I don't think the steps aren't all the same height, but maybe that's part of it. Maybe that's part of the. Illusion, illusion, Michael, like that. Maybe. Next. Uh, so, this took me a while. Oh. This took me a while to do. So you have to match the Wenzel's product to the price. So those of you who have been clamouring for Wenzel's, anyone who goes to watch the school pantomime productions will know that Wenzel's is a staple for both students and staff, but how well do you know how much money they're t taking from you when you go in? To be honest with you, I, was, I, was, I really enjoyed looking through the menu because there were so many things I didn't know one could purchase from there. So oh, know, I want to know what a corporate cupcake is. A corporate cupcake is a cupcake that's got your company's logo on the cupcake. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they'll print it. They'll print it on like rice paper with like Die. I was reading all about it because I'm so I can get what the flip on Wenzel's cupcakes. You can, yes, brilliant. Or, there or is a we could new get game your coming face, out. or we could get Mr. McManaman superimposed on his celebrity on cupcakes. Well, let's and do that. That's the best. To Abu Dhabi. <laughs> <laughs> Please, can we do that? Oh, okay. TV shows. Um, name this. Person, well, there's, there's going to be five people. You need to name the people. So this is one of the most famous bases on television at the moment. Again, it is a community 
family quiz give me the actual name please of this person because there are other names yes but we stick with the the pg family community name please yeah love it okay who's Next. that oh now did you know that straight away uh yes i did know that straight away i did so, know that straight away and everyone watching this will have had a kid so therefore hopefully well, no, Everyone I have no idea. This will have had a kid, or, or well, yes. be one, or have or been be one. one. That, that have been a kid. This didn't exist when we were children. No. Television no, didn't thankfully. exist when we were children, because we're so old. Next. What is that person's name? I'll tell you what I would like to say at this point, though, is, and my wife would laugh her head off were she listening to this, um, but I have a massive issue with characters in TV programmes undoing their top button while they're wearing a tie. <laughs> it basically stops me from enjoying the programme because I go, at what point did they make the conscious decision to put a tie? I mean, he's wearing a tie and a hoodie. I mean, what is the, what, take the tie off. Take if the you tie off. Watched, I'm allowed to tell you what the show is. So it, the show is Brooklyn Nine-Nine and the whole point is, is that he doesn't think he should have to wear a tie. He doesn't think he should have to wear any of this stuff. But then he gets taught in a really kind of like uh, powerful um, oh, yeah. no, that, 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 about but, the importance of uniform. Yes, but I, everybody... Which I love, which I love. But he's yeah. but do the top button up. Literally do the top. It's not that hard. And then also no, see, you have the strange have... thing. No, I'm still talking. And you have the strange yeah. thing. This strange thing where it's fashionable to wear a shirt without a tie, but to do the top button up. So, oh, I hate that. So why wear a shirt without a tie and do the, and then when you're wearing a tie, undo the top button? What, what's the point of that? What's the point of it? I don't think we're gonna get anywhere with this argument. Let's go on, go on. Oh, look, it's you. <laughs> That's what I see. Sometimes I'm there, I'm teaching in D216, I'm working away on the board and we're talking about poetry and suddenly I look over to my door and through the little, Glass rectangle there. That's what I see. A <laughs> mug not wearing a tie. At least he hasn't got his top button. But, but you know, there he, he is. He hasn't got a top button. No, he hasn't. He hasn't I, got the choice. No. He also doesn't have Next. a chin. He's just got neck that goes into face. What is her name? Not the actress. We want the character. You know, I can only do the first name. I know. It's a difficult one. You want more uh, than the first name and the general title. Yeah. I think that um, you should sit down and watch. This, this is on uh, Netflix now, I think. Is it's it? on Netflix or iPlayer. Um, yeah, The Vicar of Dibley. Amazing show. Were you going to blow your bugle? I was going to, and then I remembered that it, it made the microphone go funny last time, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to hold it for moral support. Fair um, enough. I think that's, that's, it, the end I think. that's the end of the quiz. Yeah. That's the All quiz right. Too. Well, you have until, let's say, Saturday afternoon to submit your quiz um, and do it via Google Form. We will mark it and we promise that we will be back and ready and live again on Monday evening. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs>